Let me tell you about my family. Hey, here we go now. It's bedtime again. Let's take a look and see what's happening. Roller coaster ride. No surprise. It's life with Louie, Louie, Louie. Life with Louie, Louie, Louie. It's life with likeable, lovable, completely huggable. It's life with Louie. summer vacation. For most kids, that meant freedom from the tyranny of the school year. For me, it just meant more tyranny. Hey, Noogie. Know what time it is? I don't know. 3.30? Wrong! It's Noogie time! But it was Noogie time at lunch today. Duh! How dumb can you be? We're in a daylight savings Noogie time here. It's summer! <laughs> I must have forgot to turn my clock back. Fortunately, there was one escape route from Noogie Time, and I knew where to find it. I was going to summer camp. Four weeks of unadulterated, Glen Glen free bliss. <laughs> hey, Louie, will you help me pack? What for? I'm going to camp. What? <sighs> oh. Here. What are these people eating? What's the big idea? You can't send Tommy to camp. Oh, Louie, we sent you to camp when you were Tommy's age. Yeah, but I went to camp to get away from Tommy. I went to overnight camp when I was three months old. Went back every summer, too. By the time I was six, they made me a counselor. We want Tommy to have the same camp experience that you had. Well, can't you just keep him here all summer, put him in a different room, and... Call it camp? Louis, this discussion's over. Either both of you go to camp, or neither one of you goes. Now, what's it going to be? No, just because we're going to the same camp doesn't mean I'm going to be your babysitter, all right? When we get to camp, chuck me. You don't know me, and I don't know you. Got it? Suddenly, there it was, the bus that was going to take me to the No Noogie Zone. Bye-bye now. You take care. I'll send you lots of cookies. Hey, can I sit here? Sure, I guess. Victory at last. <laughs> know what time it is, Loopy? Oh, jeez, Glenn Glenn. Aren't your nugging fingers getting tired? Good point, Lucille. Another hundred miles and we'll change places so I can nuggie you with my left hand. Thanks, buddy. Oh, no problem. I'm here to help. Move it, lunatic. Traveling light, Glen Glen. I got other people bringing my clothes. Like who? Like you. I took all your underwear out of your trunk when you weren't looking. I'll give it back when I'm done. <laughs> oh, ridiculous is this going to get? Hey, Tommy. You're in cabin seven. That's a good one. Why would you care? Cabin three? Oh, no. Not the pink palace again. Cabin six. Hey, me too. Hey, maybe me too. Well, almost. If you subtract seven. Perfect timing, Loogie. We just voted for cabin leader. Gee, I wonder who won. Move it. That's my bed. Wrong again. That's my bed. Well, where do I sleep? <laughs> I want to go home. I miss my mommy. Homesick, buddy. And you? Bet you miss your family, huh? Well, tell me this. Do you miss your mom standing over you, making you eat your Brussels sprouts? No. And you? Do you miss your big brother using you as a tackling dummy? No. What about you, my good man? Do you wish you were at home mowing the lawn, doing the dishes? Of course you don't. Look around you, my friends. We're not at home anymore. We're at camp. That's right, that's camp with a capital C, and that rhymes with P, and that stands for pool. That stands for pool! Camp Chuckamy, can I help you? Uh, just a minute, please. Attention campers. Would Louie Anderson please report to the office? 
There is a phone call for Louie Anderson. Your mother is on the phone. Repeat, your mother is on the phone. <laughs> Mama's calling, Mama's calling. <laughs> nice going, loser. I think you broke the world record for wussiness. We're not even here an hour and your mother's calling. <laughs> hey, tell her to send some more underwear. <laughs> oh, Louie, stop exaggerating. I'm sure they're not going to make you sleep on a deck chair. Just a minute, dear. No, I don't think you have bursitis. Uh. Now, you try to have fun, Louie, okay? Bye-bye. All right, we got to talk about this long distance bill. It's outrageous. Small countries don't have the phone bill we have. We got to cut. Hello? Oh, yes, operator. I'll accept charges. Uh, well, yeah. Julie? Hi, dear. Listen, I can't talk right now. Can I call you back? Ah! Okay. Who is that? Julie? Our daughter, Julie? Julie who lives in Oregon, Julie? Area code 503, Julie? Uh... Yeah, now if we're done, I should call her back. Send her a homing pigeon. Well, fine. Of course, she was calling for a recipe. Well, she's still learning how to cook, but I suppose if her marriage breaks up, she could always move back here. Won't that be nice? Uh, tell her I said hello. Oh. <laughs> You? I thought you were the switchboard operator. Hey, I'm multi-skilled. What's the problem? Swallowed shaving cream. I think it gave me an ulcer. You better send me home. Nice try. Now get out of here. Of course you'll remember how to swim. All right, kids. Today we practice our dives. Any questions? Yeah. What if you misjudge the depth of the water and we end up hitting our heads on the bottom of the lake? Oh, come on now. That's just negative thinking, Lonnie. Louie! Go on, Lonnie. Explore! <laughs> hey, look what I found. What is it? Jeez, it looks like a sail. Looks like a parachute. Hey, Give over here! <laughs> keep away, keep away! <laughs> All right, swim time's over. Everyone out! You too, Lonnie! Um, uh, I'd like to stay in if that's all right with you. I'm, um, having too much fun exploring. There you go, Lonnie. That's the right attitude. Camp Chuckamy. Hello, Mrs. Anderson. What? How did I know? Lucky guess. Hold on. I'll see if I can find him. Louie Anderson, please report to the office. Your mother is on the phone. Again. <laughs> Feeling frowny. Feeling naked. Don't look at it as naked. Look at it as unencumbered by the restraints of the real world. Okay, what's on your mind, champ? I want to go home. I hate camp. Uh-uh-uh. We don't use that word here. Nobody hates at Camp Chucky. We can dislike things, and if we really feel strongly, we heartily dislike. But we don't hate. I heartily dislike camp. I heartily dislike having my swimming trunk strung up on a tree. And I heartily dislike you. Now you got it. <laughs> Oh, yes, Olivia, the boys are having a great time. I'm just making up some of my oatmeal raisins to send off to them. What now? A frog licked my head. Think he gave me flesh-eating virus. Better send me home. Nice try. Get out of here. <sighs> Bows up, pull back, and release. <laughs> All right, yeah, I hit it. Bingo, yeah! Oh! Bow and arrow took my arm off. Well, I reattached it. But, uh, infection could set in. I think you better send me home to see a specialist. How are you today, Mrs. Anderson? Well, why don't you ask him yourself? He's right outside. 
Louie, it's your mother. Just want to make sure you got enough underwear, honey bear. Don't you wear them two days in a row. Kisses. I only had one more week at camp to go, but I knew I wouldn't last another minute. It was time for me to make a break for it. Time to run. Time to catch the Midnight Express out of Camp Chucky. Lonnie, you're just in time for the nature walk. Unfortunately, the Midnight Express derailed moments after departure. We're using the buddy system today, Lonnie. Oh, no, not him. I'd rather have an out of buddy experience. Yeah, forget it. I'm not going to be Loogie's buddy. What we have here is a great opportunity for you two to work on your cooperation skills. So, you're tying us together like animals? That's negative thinking. I'm uniting you with a bond of trust. Come on, toddler. I'm coming, all right. I can't go as fast as you. How are those cooperation skills coming, boys? Peachy. We got a system. He drags me, and I get dragged. Perfect. Stop, please. Fallen. Please stop. Hey. What's the big idea? We're resting. What are you talking about? I've been doing all the work. I've been dragging for the last mile. Is it my fault you can't keep your balance? Hey, where is everyone? Huh? Huh? It's too quiet out there. How's a person supposed to get any rest without... Lily hung me on the doorknob. Tommy buried my favorite socks. Oh, you miss the boys. Now, maybe I miss hearing their voices around. And maybe I miss seeing their faces here and there. But it's nothing a tape recording or a photograph couldn't take care of, huh? Uh-huh. More cookies for the boys? Huh. Yep. How you sending those, U.S. mail? Well, I was thinking about it, but, you know, you can't always trust the mail service. You got that right. I just wish I could have someone I trust deliver these cookies. Andy, maybe? Fine, fine. Twist my arm. I'll do it. Jeez, you don't have to browbeat me like that. <laughs> oh, nice going, Lulu. You got us lost. What are you talking about? You were leading the way. This, this way. way. <clears throat> All right. We'll flip for it. Heads, we go your way. Tails. We go my way. Okay, but I don't have a coin. Who said anything about a coin? I'm gonna flip you! Uh, let's just go your way. I can't find my brother Louie. Oh, don't you worry there, little fella. We were using the buddy system. See, the beauty of the buddy system is this. Buddy number one gets lost, buddy number two brings him home. Buddy number two takes a wrong turn. Hey, who's that over there? It's buddy number one. See, it's flawless. Oh, yeah? Well, what if both buddies get lost? Hey, Loogie, you know what time it is? I know, I know. Noogie time, right? No, really. What time is it? Uh, I don't know, about 4.30 or 5. You mean it's going to be dark soon? You're not scared of the dark, are you? You better hey. keep it yourself, Lula Bell. This gets out. I'm going to have to pound you. And just for your information, I'm not scared of the dark. It's the lack of light that bothers me. What the heck was that turn on? <laughs> Where are my cat collars, boy? This one is terrible! This way, Louie! Where are we going? I hear something! I think it's the camp! It sounds like a river. No, it's camp! I know it! I'm telling you, it sounds like... <laughs> Hello, it's Aura Anderson. Don't say anything. I'm not here. I'm not here. No, Estoy Aki. No, not here. Um, I'm sorry. Louie, he's, um, he's, he's on a field trip. Um, can I, can I take a message for you? Well, that's all right. I'll wait. He could be, you know, a while. Oh, I don't mind. I'll hold. Mm -hmm. uh, can you describe him, son? Strong hair, wise eyes. And a face that's seen everything the world has to offer. That's him. Don't worry about it, son. He's probably just playing in the woods somewhere, having the time of his life. Ah! Ah! 
Oh no. No river down here. Dad, what are you doing here? Just wanted to make sure these cookies arrive safely. Louie's missing. He got lost in the woods. What? Hey, Glenn, Glenn. Got something in your eye? No. And if you ask me again, I'm gonna put something in yours. Okay. That's fair. All right, people. Our fugitive's been on the run for six hours. Average foot speed for the kid is, well, he's pretty slow. I swear I could crawl faster than this kid runs. But anyway, I want a hard target search of every farmhouse, hen house, and, uh, house of donuts in a 12-mile radius. Your fugitive's name is Louie Anderson. Oh, yeah, the Glen boy is missing, too. Now, let's go find Louie. Glen Glen. What do you want, Loogie? Nothing. I just thought you might be hungry. You share your cookies with me? Well, not this box. Hey, Loogie. Yeah? Thanks. It's funny. I came to camp to get away from Glen Glen. And here we were, tied together, lost in the wilderness, on the brink of starvation. It was the most fun I'd had all summer. Hey, Loogie, don't you tell anyone I just said thanks, or else... I know, I know, or else you'll have to pwn me. You're not lost, Mr. Anderson, are you? You kidding? I don't know the meaning of the word. It means to be completely clueless about where you are. The camp is this way. I can hear it. See that? I know exactly where I am. I'm a walking globe. Ah! Oh. And now he's a rolling globe. <laughs> Up and at him, Glenn Glenn. Mommy, my covers fell off and I can't find my nook nook. Well, that takes care of my nightmares for the next year. Come on, Glenn Glenn. What? Morning already? Let's go find your nook nook. Hey, look, it's them! Louie, Glenn Glenn, look! Over here! Louie! Were you scared? Not for a second! Did you see any bears? Only the one I was tied to. All right, you can stop worrying about it. I made it. I'm fine. No need for a welcome home party. Huh? What? Anyone? I swear, officer, I don't know where you're getting this. I did not tie any kids together. Mm -mm. Uh-huh. I think you better come down to the station. What? You're arresting me? But we still have crabs. That's negative thinking, Counselor Rudy. Yeah. Don't look at it as being arrested. Look at it as an opportunity to explore the police station up close and for a really long time. Well, I've given them the best summers of my life. Do you hear me? I am not good with sports. I, I don't think I'm going to walk on this. It's a for me. <laughs> <laughs> the last week of camp was great. I swam. I played kickball. I learned how to shoot a bow and arrow. And best of all, I didn't get a single noogie. During our ordeal in the woods, I guess Glenn Glenn learned to respect me as a fellow human being. Hey, Louie, know what time it is? Uh, about three? Wrong! It's about ten seconds till noogie time! Nine, thought... eight, mm. seven, six, five, four, three, two, one! <laughs> oh, well, I guess we all have our roles in life. And I couldn't expect Glenn Glenn to stop playing kids. After all... <laughs> He was so good at it. Hmm. Special delivery from the phone company. All I ever get from the phone company is a bill. Yep, this is it. Uh, oh. All right. Just a minute, dear. I'm on the phone. Ah, uh, yeah, honey. Hi. Your father. What do you have? How many fathers do you have? I just called to say hello. No, no emergency. No, pay the money when you can. Anytime. 